Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing my June favorites. My hair goes everywhere in my lipstick. Okay. Um, basically, I don't know. I used, I'm not the kind of person that has like a certain eyeshadow look that they always wear. I always like change it up. But this month, I don't know. I just kind of like stuck with certain products and used them quite a bit. So I wanted to share them with you guys. Um, a lot of the stuff I'm actually wearing right now. So I'm just going to start off with what's on my eyes first because it seems like the logical thing for me to do. Um, and as a base on my eyes right now, I'm using the Maybelline 24 hour color tattoo in Bad to the Bronze. I have got this about at the end of May, I think. And I don't know, I really like it. It's super easy to use. It's gorgeous and it looks great with a lot of eyeshadows. And then um, I've kind of been like going back and finding products that I didn't really use before and are loving, like I'm loving them now. Um, and this is one of the very first, like the next thing that I've been loving and that I'm actually wearing right now is an eyeshadow that like one of the very first MAC eyeshadows I ever bought. Um, and it is in the color Honesty. I think this is a pro eyeshadow now. Um, you can still order it online, but I don't think you can get it in like regular MAC stores. You have to get it at a pro store. Not exactly sure, but I think it's absolutely gorgeous. It's like a gold, it's like a neutrally gold color. It's not like super in your face, but I just like pairing it up with Bad to the Bronze because that kind of makes it more, like stands out more and it's more pretty. I, I just like it. So yeah, I've been using that a lot. And then the next thing, just stick with eyeshadows, is the Naked Palette. Urban Decay, I love that company. Um, I haven't used all of the colors this month, but the colors that I have been using are Sin, Naked, and where is it? Sidecar and Creep. Now, those are pretty like basic, boring colors. Um, I kept it pretty neutral because I just, I don't know. There were some days where I was like, ooh, I'm going to wear a purple eyeshadow and I'm going to wear glitter and things like that. And then other days I was like, I could really care less. And just kind of like picked up this eyeshadow palette and was like, oh, I'll use that. Um, this is actually the first palette I've ever owned. So yeah, pretty, you know, I used to use Naked to fill in my eyebrows. Yeah. But speaking of like filling in my eyebrows and things like that, I now use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz Pencil in, or er, I don't know, brow whiz. I know there's like a difference. There's like tons of different brow products that they have. But this is in the color Ash Blonde. It fits my hair color, eyebrow color. I don't know. I really like it. It's, I mean, you can either go super bold and have the drawn on eyebrow look if you wanted to, or you can do really soft and natural, which is what I tend to do because. I don't want to look like I drew on my eyebrows, but that's just me. So I have used some other like, oh, I just hit myself in the face, but I have used some other brow products like obviously using eyeshadows to fill them in and I've used the Sephora eyebrow pencil, which is good if you don't want to spend however much this is and the Sephora one I believe is like $12 but don't quote me on that because could be wrong um so yeah and then the next thing that I've been absolutely loving I just can't find another mascara that tops this which is this is the Buxom Lash Mascara this is waterproof I believe I don't know it's in the color black is black and I like the wand on it, like the, yeah. Um, I know that that's not gonna zoom, so I'll have a picture somewhere. But um, I, 
I like it. I just, I've used the Maybelline Mega Plush, I've used the Urban Decay, uh, like, I don't remember what it's called, but I've used one of the Urban, I've actually used two Urban Decay mascaras, and I still just, I don't know, I really like this one. I just, I cannot seem to find a mascara that's like, just as amazing, so, yeah. <laughs> I love Buxom's mascara. Um, okay, so moving on. This is the Sephora Eyeliner Strass. That's what it says. Glitter Eyeliner. And this is in the color Opal. It's a really, like, classic glitter color. Has a nice, like, applicator. And I just, I really like it. Um, some other really good glitter eyeliners are by NYX. I really like those too, but I mean, these you get a lot more product. I believe they're like around the same price as $12, but I don't really know. I got this on sale for like $7 or something. I don't know, but I want to try some more colors because I only have that one color, so yeah. The next thing that I absolutely love, I just kind of like ignored it for a long time because I moved on to like the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder um, and like I was using the Hourglass Foundation which is a liquid to powder foundation so I was like I really don't need to use powder. Um, just like a powder product on top of that because that would be ooh, not good cake face. Um, but this is the MAC Studio Fix Foundation Powder. Um, this is good especially if you have oily skin. Um, now I get extremely oily on my forehead and I don't know if you can tell if I'm getting oily yet or not. I don't know. I'm slightly oily on my forehead right now. But um, this doesn't stop from being super oily, but it, for me at least, it like, I used to get kind of oily on my like chin and around my nose and things like that. But I haven't really noticed that happening since I've been using this. Just on my forehead I tend to get oily with this product but this is the color of it i'm in the color in w20 just the same as like every other mac studio fix concealer whatever product um i'm in w20 so that's that the next product that i've absolutely been loving is the nars blush in deep throat it's a really pretty color um it's like a peachy pinky color um, with slight gold flecks in it. I really like it because it's not super, like when I put it on, it's not super pigmented. So I tend to get red on my cheeks extremely easily. So this just, I mean, it's not too much to where it's like if I tend to go red in my cheeks, it's going to look like a clown. Um, so I really like this because it's super light and yeah, I like wearing it. The next and final thing, well, not the final thing because I have one more, but I don't really have anything to show you, but, um, this is the Maybelline Vivid's lipstick in the color, what is the color? Shocking Coral number 870. It's not exactly coral. I mean, it's kind of coral. It's more pink than coral. But I really like it. And my next favorite, um, they just happened to tweet. So, <laughs> you know, they just announced a, like, a tour date, but it's nowhere near me. Um, and that is Five Seconds of Summer. They are currently on tour with One Direction until August 10th. I think that's like when the tour ends, but I could be wrong. Um, and I really like them. They're amazing. They're a band from Australia and they're like my addiction. Okay, so I know I'm in like a completely different room in a completely different setting. I don't even know if I'm in like the camera or not. I don't know. But, um, Five Seconds of Summer, they're my addiction, basically. I'll have their link down below, and as 
well as some of my other favorite bands. So yeah, I hope you guys like this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Please subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video. Um, I'm uploading a video either this Friday or Saturday because I really wanted to get it up and I couldn't wait until next Wednesday because another video is going to be going up next Wednesday. So yeah, okay, bye!